<clears throat> Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. I am your host, Staff Sergeant Hollifield. I will be your driver today as well. So, <clears throat> I've put in for the beta and we're testing it out. Now, with the beta, you can't use any of the mods. That's one of the things I've learned is that these the beta doesn't support the mods so I'm looking to see what happens with the ones that I've requested uh, and whatnot if it's in a beta I don't think you can use it while you're in the beta mode so realistic lighting stuff like that doesn't work at all it uh, has conflicts of interest in the game but these are all here however you cannot use them which makes absolutely well in a way it makes sense and in another way it doesn't so it is how it is however all your DLC still works so, and because I am in the beta, the world of trucks does not work. Um, it doesn't recognize it. So, that's where a conflict of interest is also. Any screenshots you have, they do not work in the beta. So... Let's see, we have how much money? We only have $23,000 right now. So we need to get some money and start working to make a pretty good penny. Uh, 8,000. Massive tech park, 20 foot by 20 foot by 16 foot. And that goes, where's that going from? Artisa to Las Cruces. It's not a bad deal. We'll do that one. And that might be Artesa instead of Artisa. We'll take that one. It's on a little curvy road, but we'll make it work. I'm here to try and make big bucks. I'm not here to try and uh, destroy everything, so. Hopefully I get this all taken. Oh, we're driving a Kenworth again. Dang it. Get ready to well, right. I might have damaged it just a little bit. sure it didn't say I damaged it but I did hit that gate back there Go 
go straight on. Oh, speed limit dropped. Since I have this side mirror Go that I can on. see, I'm going to use it. Turn right. stay to the outside a little bit that way the inside lane doesn't protrude over too much into the other lane I wish it would let us go a little bit faster than 65 or 40 because I can make it in plenty of time. Also trying to make sure I get money saved up so that I don't have to pay so much interest on the vehicle loans and whatnot. But I'm not going to be able to play in the convoys until I'm able to uh, get my own truck. So, and I want to be a little bit higher rank. That way I can make better money and whatnot. So, the higher your rank and proficiency, the better your money is and everything. So, and I also want to hire somebody to do a job for me so that while I'm not playing, the game is playing it and somebody's making money for me. So what I might do is buy a truck for myself and then when I go offline, hire somebody to work for me and they can use my truck. So they just I don't know if, how that works, but somebody was telling me that while you're offline, if you have a worker, then that worker will
do the job for you. They'll take deliveries and make pretty good money based off of what their skill experience is. So, yeah, you have to pay them, but you're not paying as much as you would be making. So... And I think right now I just need one driver to help me build up a little bit better. That cop didn't want to speed up, instead he wanted to slow down, so I was trying to engine brake to keep from smashing him in. This is where I wish the escorts had more common sense. They, the AI in them is not that great because they don't realize they see a truck speeding up behind them because of gravity, they need to speed up. No, they stay one set speed and sometimes they even stop without no particular reason. They just hit the brakes for no reason at all and they wait to the last second to make lane changes and stuff, so... I wish they, the AI was a little bit better and a little bit smarter. They realize if they see a turn signal, then they need to turn, so... But it doesn't work that way. Little RV park there, club cafe. Oh, we got a tunnel coming. Hopefully they got the tunnel shut down. Mm, doesn't look like they shut, uh, stopped traffic. Keep to the center of it just to be on the safe side. What is that? Oh, it's a billboard. Okay. No, truck. Scenic overview. Oh, too close to the guardrail. Gotta let those trucks go by. So I don't want to hit that guardrail. struggling because it's uphill. Well, 
we crested it, now let's see what happens. Careful, careful, careful. Discovered Alma Gorda. Turn left. Excuse me, sorry about that. Why is this card the police car going so slow? Speed limit's 35, he's got me slowing down to 30. Oh, I found the international. Why are you going so slow, dude? speed limit of 35 El Paso's in the left lane so we're about to take a right jeez at the last second he hits the brakes when he didn't need to Oh. 
that truck. This guy does not know what he's doing. I should get a little bit of a drive-in bonus because I do have uh, fragile cargo as one of my skills. So <clears throat> we'll see how this works. I noticed if you use a skill and you deliver cargo using those skills then you get experience points and maybe a little bit of a pay bonus so I'm gonna try and up all my skills as best as I can try not to cause so much damage to my loads and whatnot I want to make the safe drives and whatnot. Passing through the Cheyenne Mountains. But the Cheyenne Mountain Pass goes from El Paso to Las Cruces. So. I think that's where it's at. Cheyenne. I think that's what they call that pass. It's been a while. I haven't lived in El Paso since 2010. Had to slow down and back off that police car. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Stay to the inside.
to right at the top of the hill. there. Gotta take it to the back of the store. Ah. tried to do this with a, no damage but I cut that corner just a little too close where's the parking spot there it is There we go. We got that one down. Oh, that took forever with one little damage. Excellent though. So the damage wasn't to the cargo, it was to something else. So, high value cargo, apply that. And we'll take a minute 